there are eight English taught bachelor programs and 13 English taught master programs at this university. The university name is called Degendorf Institute of Technology. And at this university, you can study artificial intelligence or automation. This video because one of my viewers asked me to make a video for artificial intelligence or program that is for a bachelor degree and that is taught in English. At this university, all you need to do is to go to study with us and select study program. If you select the study program, then you can navigate to the area where they have the different degree programs. So let's start with the undergraduate study. And for the undergraduate study, I love the way the university give the information about the programs they have. So you can see when I scroll down, you can see that the programs that is going to be taught in English, for instance, the artificial intelligence, you can see that it's the e hand symbol is there, which indicates it's an English program. If you scroll that further down, you find the building products and processes. There is electromobility, autonomous driving, and this also is a high related. There is energy system engineering. There is health information, industrial engineering. There's international management and international tourism management and health and medical tourism. So those are the eight English taught undergraduate program. And if you want to find the one that are for master degree, just click on the postgraduate study. And this will bring you to the ones that are in English. And as you can see, they also have the AI, uh, the artificial intelligence and data science in English. And I'm showing you on my screen so you don't have to leave this video to go and check out on their website. These are the programs that are in English, the ones having the EN symbol on them. So how do you make the application to this university? Are there tuition fee associated with this university? I'm going to be providing you the information in a few seconds. So let's start with the undergraduate study. Since this particular viewer asked me for the university, I'm going to use the course is interested in to give an example. So it's interested in artificial intelligence. Once you click on the artificial intelligence, you get the information about the type of uh, why this why you want to study at the Degendorf Institute of Technology. And you can see that they have here that about 87% of all their graduates will find a job within two months. So why wouldn't you want to study at this university? And the program is a seven semester program. So you can see it's three and a half years. The program is going to be taught exclusively in English. And this particular program, you can only start in October, which is the winter semester. And the degree are going to be awarded with is the degree of Bachelor of Science in Artificial Intelligence. Here is an overview. They've given you all the information. You can see it's a highly related machine learning, computer science. And if you are going to be studying this type of program, then you need to be super and highly motivated because anything with machine learning requires a lot of patience. So you are going to be, you need to teach yourself how to be patient. You can see that the application period is going to start in April. And if I were you, I will gather all the information, all the documents I'm going to need to make the application from now on so that there will be no delay when you need to make your application. One thing I observe about making application in Germany is that it's best for you to make the application within the first two weeks that the application is open so that they can make decision as, especially for those programs that they are looking at using choosing that on the first come first serve basis. You can see that there are more information about the course specialty. And if you, of course you're not going to be studying in German, you don't need a German language certificate. You will need to provide proof of English proficiency. And here you can see they say English level B2. That's if English is not your native language. If it is uh, your native language, then you need, of, you need proof of sufficient English skills. If you're applying for bachelor's, for instance, in this case, you can use the WAHEC results, the English results you have from your WAHEC or any of the O level results as a proof that you've previously studied in English. You need to write an online assessment test and to do the assessment test, all you just have to click, do is to click on the assessment test itself and then to bring you to the page where it will tell you what to do. So you can see here for the assessment, for the assessment test for artificial intelligence, it's asking you to send your application by Primus. So you're going to be making the application through their portal. The portal name is what is known as Primus. If your application meets the formal criteria, you will receive an invitation to the assessment test. So there's going to be a pre-selection to that test. And for you that are interested in 
the artificial intelligence or machine learning be ready to do a quick test in this area of step in this area in calculus lily algebra probabilities foundation of computer science so yeah, go, uh, and then you will have to write an essay in that text in that test and then they will make a decision if you pass the assessment test then you'll be able to make your application so the assessment test for winter semester will take place taking place for those that submitted the application for last year because 2023 2024 is for those that started their winter their first degree two months ago in october so for those of you that you're going to be applying for next year then be expected be a, get yourself ready to write that test between 17th of may and june and june 2024 for those that will be applying next year and you can see that you need the knowledge of stem in order for you to make the application for you to know how to then do the step-by-step -step application all you just have to do is click on the application procedure and here it's going to give you the overview so here it's giving you the step-by-step -step on how you make your application for, for people that are from eu they will pay a 72 euros per semester as a semester fee but as from this year they've introduced a uh, tuition fee to international applicants which originally in bavaria you do not need to pay any tuition fee but now from this for those that will be uh, getting admission from next year you will have to pay a 500 euros uh, per semester as your tuition fee and also your application is going to attract a 50 euros fee this is the link for you to get to the prismos portal to make your application and here you can see that if you check here they make this simple first you register on prismos and then you select the program you want to uh, enroll for and then you enter all the informations that are needed for like your previous education your this program you're interested in and every other thing that they required and here is where it gets interesting because most people are always asking me about the document they need in your application portal where you are entering all the details and choosing the course you are interested in that is where there will be towards the end a link for a section that will ask you to upload this document and you can see it requires your university entrance qualification so for those of you that want to do bachelor degree in this instance your university entrance qualification is your WAHEC and NECO results if you're applying for this particular program as a master program, then your university entrance qualification will be your bachelor degree certificate. You need a copy of your identity card, which is your international passport, the page of your the first page of your international passport. You need a curriculum vita A. You need a proof of language proficiency, which we already which they already showed us earlier that if you've previously studied in English, you do not need to provide a test result. Just provide a proof that you have a sufficient English um uh, skills you need certificate of exmatriculation that's if you have already studied so if that's if you've done a bachelor degree before and you are trying to do a second one you will need that for the applying for master degree you can see they need your bachelor degree and the grade sheets so you always ask for the grading sheets together with your transcript and certificates and then it needs to be for you to submit your application and then you need to regularly check your status the status of your application on the primus portal and then correct the upload documents if they reply if they send the notification to your port to your application page that oh please require this document make sure you upload this on time if you are accepted or rejected they are going to receive a letter so i hope it's going to be an acceptance letter and then all this information i think you need to remember so in summary you there are in eight english bachelor programs and 13 english taught master programs at Digendorf institute of technology there's an application fee of 50 euros for international students that are applying from outside the european union if you're an european student it does, if you're an european student it doesn't matter if you are living in china or india if you have an european passport or a passport from any country within europe then you do not have to pay this fee all you will have to pay after getting your admission is 72 euros per semester i wish you all the best with your application if you find this video useful do not forget to click the subscribe button and share with your friends goodbye